Good to have you here, sir. Yes. A lot of palpable excitement about Pineapple Express. People... I can feel it. Yes. <laughs> Very exciting. That could be something else. Yes. Uh, this, uh, and I hate to uh, label any film. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a crude, uh, a crude thing to do. But people are calling this a pop movie. They're yes. saying it's a pop movie, uh, and uh, that guy's happy. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you've you've dealt with that subject in some of your other films. Do you smoke? Do you smoke pot? Do you have personal knowledge of pot? Is that what you're drawing on? What a terrible question to ask. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm a bad, bad How man. Shocking. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a pot guy uh, because every time I ever smoked pot, I wind up, you know, sucking on my hand in a corner going, you know, when will it end? When will it end? Right. You know? It's not a fun experience for no, you. No, yeah. no, no. I'm like a NyQuil guy. <laughs> yeah. like, hey, man, let's have some party in yeah. NyQuil time. NyQuil and rum. Yeah. yeah. So no, I, I, you know, other people involved with the movie seem to understand the subject matter a little better than me. Yeah, yeah. So Some I, of the actors seem. Uh... I can't really say, but <laughs> they're on the screen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In major roles. Maybe it's Ed Begley. I'm yeah. not saying who. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, why then make films about potheads? It's something that you seem to be attracted to? Well, you know, I'm not very smart. Mm -hmm. So I can only <laughs> write for, like, dumb guys. Uh -huh. I can only produce for dumb guys. And, uh, you know, like, I could never write, write, like, Goodwill Hunting. Because, you know, they play smart people. And then I would be like, then the smart guy says, I don't know how they talk. <laughs> what do smart people say? You right, know? right. But right. potheads, I can do that all day long. Right, so that's a good thing. Now, has your family seen Pineapple Express? I know you have, uh, you know, you I have, have a five year old daughter. Yes. And a 10 year old daughter. Okay. So. Will they get to see this movie? Uh, you know, I don't want them to. Right. I know that one day, you know, she's going to walk in the room and say, Daddy, I just smoked a J to your movie, Pineapple Express. Right. And that's not a good thing. Right. And she wants to see the movie. She hasn't seen any of the movies. So you, you haven't, your kids haven't seen any of your films? No, no. My daughter, uh, Maude, she's 10, she just doesn't understand why she can't see the movies. In fact, she wrote a letter to you to beg you to force me to let her see the movies. Uh, I think it's cool that she thinks I have that kind of authority. Yes. <laughs> she literally, like, this is Is this like, real? Uh, yeah, no, she wrote a letter. Because she, uh, she didn't understand why she can't, can't uh, wow. see the movies. Look it at says, that. Uh, Dear Conan, tell my dad to let me see his movies. I haven't seen any. Even my friends can see them. It's not fair. <laughs> I've already heard all the swear words. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I hear my dad's friends say them. I know what sex means and is. <laughs> <laughs> I love I, that sentence. I know about the clubs and drugs. <laughs> I already know what's in my father's movies. Why can't I see them? And then she lists the R movies she's seen. Little Miss Sunshine, there's a grandpa doing heroin. <laughs> <laughs> then she says, I saw the Garden State at the Penguin Store while my dad spent two hours buying shirts. <laughs> It's kind of embarrassing. Yes. I saw 15 minutes of There Will Be Blood, but then I got scared and had to turn it off. <laughs> and then she says, so don't worry, I'm not going to do drugs, and I'm not going to dig for oil. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what I am going to do is be a talk show host in Japan one day, just like Oprah, my hero. Sorry, Conan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I lost out to Oprah. Wow. Does that convince you at all? You're going to let her now? What? I really don't know. Like, where is the line of, uh, of what is uh, appropriate for kids? I don't even want my kids to know what I do for a living. I have, like, really young kids. I don't want them to know what I... I just tell them I work in an insurance company. Oh, it's a... <laughs> I do, yeah. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a scary business if you have kids. Uh, I was just in, uh, at uh, Comic-Con. Yes, Comic-Con, the big uh, comic book uh, convention, yes. which has uh, gotten huge. And, and you went there? How was I, that? I went there. That's another one with my kids, which is, you know, scary. I like going there because everyone kind of looks like me and smells like me, you know? <laughs> I see, hey, there's me if I dress like Han Solo. Right, right. You know? right. There's me if I dress like Barbarella. Right. And, uh, and you meet all the people that write about you on the message boards. Cause... Do they write nice things about you on the message board? Well, every once in a while, people, you know, there's a little backlash just, you know, when you have a lot of movies at some point. People have to turn on you. And then I, I read the other day on the internet, someone's like, Judd Apatow's movies are a fart to American culture. And it went on and on and on. And I felt bad. Like, I started feeling bad. And then I look who posted it, and it said, Danny Glover's <laughs> blood. <laughs> 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 
And then that, now, should I believe Danny Glover's <laughs> flag? Should I? Does that invalidate his opinion? <laughs> no, it shouldn't invalidate his entire opinion, but no. Because everything on the internet, like, you gotta realize, like, most of it isn't real. Like, most of the information is bad. Like, according to Wikipedia, I can pleasure myself orally. That's what it says on Wikipedia. Yeah, when in fact, I can only barely reach it with the tip of my tongue. <laughs> I can feel my hot breath on it. There's a reason my children think I work in insurance. Yes. <laughs> Should I let my daughter watch this episode? <laughs> no, no, that she is won't. That's the question. Uh, now, uh, back to Pineapple Express, for yes. the good of everybody. Yeah. Uh, this film... I uh, went blue there, I apologize. No, uh, yeah, on this show, how dare you? <laughs> this is like Charlie Rose. Yeah. Uh, not, uh, you think this movie is not just a pop movie. You feel the, the movie has a, a message or you think this movie doesn't have a message? Well, to me, it has a message. To me, the movie is about how bad your life gets if you smoke marijuana. Mm -hmm. And that the only way they can quit smoking marijuana is uh, by having their drug dealers try to murder them. Right. Seth doesn't think it's anti-pot at all. He thinks I'm crazy. Seth Rogen thinks that it's a pro-pot movie? Uh, he doesn't care. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't think it's anti-pop. Uh -huh. But All I right. think it's, uh, it's anti-pop. Now, uh, about your personal life, uh, your, your wife, the beautiful Leslie Mann, has yes. been on this show. She has, yes. uh, And she's a terrific and uh, terrific actress. You, uh, she's absolutely gorgeous. How long have you guys been married? Uh, 11 years. 11 years. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. I like people always applaud that. I, I don't know. We're one of the longest lasting Hollywood couples. Uh, <laughs> That can't be true. We're like uh, Benifer. Yes, yes. Um, do you... Lapitao. Lapitao. Well, yes. I've heard that before. I just saw Lapitao. <laughs> they, they seemed happy and in love. Uh, what's it like? You've been married 11 years. She's, she's dropped dead gorgeous. Do you ever just pinch yourself and say, I, I, I can't believe I'm, I'm married to this I, I don't understand why she's there. Like, right. I, 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 like, every day for me is like a first date. Like, I just, I'm uncomfortable. I feel like she's gonna sneak out of the restaurant at some point. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, I know what you're saying. Oh. But she stays. She stays. No, my wife loves me. She adores me. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's moments in a marriage where, like, you know, you notice your wife look at you with that look that's like, how did I wind up with you? How yes. did this happen? Yes, I, I dreamed, do know that look. I dreamed of a prince. I'm with a guy who can fart holes through his underwear. Yeah. I wanted a perfect man, and I have the guy with so much hair on his back, I can see it in his shadow. <laughs> But it works. It works. Yet it works. You're happy.